All right, so we are back. I have been very busy with some certification exams, but I wanted to uh, do some some level two missions uh, just because we've done zero and one and we've done some other basics and I figured we'd kick it up one more notch. So let's just go ahead and grab one right here. Let's see. Corrupt data. Client wants the machine to stop working. Cool. Let's do it. Wants the machine to stop working. LAN IP is 3.6. Okay. So let's uh, let's do it. Grab my SSH stuff. Okay, and let's do an end map of the public. Let's see what we get. Okay, so 3.6 is the subnet we need. And I actually see 3.10 is open on 80. So I might be just be able to skip past all this. And let's just go to 80. Oh, oh that's a private. Oh wait, uh, let's do add var lib zero. Okay, port 80. Guest file, yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, what's the end map? 0 0.2, let's just, let's just go uh, Let's get router access. A lot of times, router is the best way to get <clears throat> root for the network, um, and it also it's just it just makes it easier. Let's see what we get. Oh, okay. That's pretty sweet. Um, let's cat root and crack it. Anyways, let's crack this. Nine six nine six nine six nine nine six nine six nine six nine. Okay. So we are in the router. Let's uh, let's get metasploit inside their network. Oh, uh, jump guests. Uh, let's use lib three, right? So now we have Metasploit loaded on the router. And let's, let's just swing for the fences right here. Uh, yes, init.so. Let's see if we can get anything on that device. Nope, not quite. That's fine. Um, let's just, let's do a bounce. Actually, let's try one other thing. Hmm. Um, I don't know if I have these libraries. Okay. Okay. This isn't working. So. So we're going to bounce router port zero to one eighty two one sixty eight dot three dot six, and then we should always get a computer object back. So we know we're gonna have to do some mail stuff. A guest computer, guest computer, guest computer, guest computer. How unfortunate. Okay. Let's actually do. So 
So we're going to do uh, 192.168.0.1, and we're going to do 192.168.23.10. Right, because 10 is that other is that other device. So what I'm thinking is I can scan the other one, go on the computer, check and see what libraries they have, and then try to scan against it. There's gotta be something, right? Hmm. You know what? Let's just do it. Permission denied. Oh. Hey, 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 okay, okay. Okay, so 3.10. Okay. So I do have an address on 3.10. So what I'm thinking is if I can just if I can just know any mail um, that's on that device, then I should be able to uh, should be able to send them a funny games so let's go back to target oh wait um, we're a computer object so I didn't make a log so that's actually okay so well, let's go back here and let's use 22 and let's do grab mail please there we go okay So now we have a username and password on a different computer, but still works because they're in the same company or whatever. Um, so let's let's log in as that guy. Okay, perfect. And now all we need is the other user that we're going to be sending it to. I don't know why it doesn't like that. Okay. So before we do get too far into this, let's make sure that our um, our R shell connections are working properly. Okay, and let's launch a browser really quick and make sure that it's there. Yep, okay, so we're all there. So actually what I can do now is, um, so I have 12 shells open right now. So we should be good. Um, let's do this, we know port number. Okay, and we know IP. And let's send this bad boy. Cool. So now let's exit and let's launch it again. And we'll do an MSF console. Okay. Now we have 13 shells, right? And Anzat is the guy that we need. Um, use 12. Okay. Uh, we'll do a jump guest. And then we'll do a sudo root. Nine six nine six nine six nine home slash guest slash jump file. Okay, so we're in his root. We're gonna do corrupt logs and then we're gonna wipe this bad boy. Yes, I do. Okay, you don't have to delete these, but I do. This is actually a, a significantly easier than I thought it would be for um, this is significantly easier than I expected. Okay. And logs are corrupted. And that's also computer. This is in a shell. So we're just going to corrupt logs on our way out. Okay, that was, uh... okay, 
easy peasy. You know what? That was <laughs> that was almost too easy. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Let's do another rep two. Find and delete remote file. That's rep three. We'll do the same thing. Find and delete. Okay. Okay. The location is unknown. That's all right. So this is going to be our R shell. This is going to be our crack. And then this will be our main user window. So let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay. So let's get back into it. And again, if there's any questions here on something, you, a concept that you don't understand, just leave a comment. I promise you, I, w I will respond. Um, and also, if you see a better way to do these things, please let me know. You know, I'm I'm learning as well, but I just kind of wanted to share some of these experiences. So, you know, return the favor. If you got some some good info, you know, let me know because I you know I want to I want to get a lot better at this game too. So, anyways, let's uh, let's do an end map. Let's see what we're working with. Okay. Lots of open stuff. It's possible that it's this LAN address. Now, <laughs> I'm looking at this. The device that I want is open, so I'm assuming it's not going to be here. So let's just exploit scan that. Oh, wait. Uh, let's do an advar. I always forget this. Lib zero. Oh, I need to make a macro video. That's, that's probably what I'll do next is a macro video so I can stop having to type all this stuff. I need to get it set up but making a video is a good reason to do that. Especially with like the home gas jump file, like typing all that stuff out. You can just make it all macro so you don't have to worry about it. It's it's really slick. Um, okay, so we're gonna exploit scan the public and we're gonna do it on port 80. We'll start there. That seems like an easy target. Let's see what we get. <laughs> yeah. There's no way. If it's here, I will be shocked. So let's look at FS. Where are the chat logs? And tell me where it actually is. Yep, there, there's, there, there it is. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get home Theo Lil slash chat eight five five dot log. Oh, I'm in a file. Okay. Okay, let's get rid of these other ones. Start fresh. So this is root. Siderson and Theo Lil is Nickus. Okay. So we have file. Let's look at targets. Do we have a shell? We do, but it's just guessed, which is fine. So we can do use seven. Okay, so now we're in a guest shell. We're going to jump guest. Then we're gonna sudo root Siderson home slash guest slash Jump file. Okay. So now we can get home slash Theo Lil slash chat. What was it? 855. And we're going to just throw it in root. Okay, let's see what we got. Chat 855. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, don't worry. It only hurts when I move my arm. If you're lucky, you could have been. At least I have the license plate. Okay, so this dude got hit by a car. And the LAN IP is 172.16.15.16. Okay. So now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. 
So let's corrupt logs back. Okay. So now we have a new public. I was worried that wasn't gonna that was gonna paste in plain text, but we're good. Okay, so we know that it's on 172.16, which we do not have access to. So let's just, uh, let's try to cut to the chase. Let's just get in the router because we know we already need to hop subnets. So there's no point. We, we can dig around locally if we have to. Like, for example, if we need another email address or something, that other computer that has an open port, that'd probably be the place we want to hit. Um, but let's look. Let's see what we get. Okay, so we're in root, and we're going to grep logs, uh, cat etc slash password. I'm assuming this is different because it's a different network. Okay, so now we're here, and let's do a. You know what? Now let's just uh, let's just go for it. Let's get the um, let's get our Metasploit library in here. Oh, we should probably make sure we have jump guest. Okay. Okay. So now we got this bad boy on here. Let's just, uh, let's do it. Um, 172.16.15.6. Let's see what we get. Nah, nothing. Okay. Huh. Okay, so we know the root. So what I'm actually gonna do here so I'm gonna pop into a shell. Um, let's take a look around a little bit. Huh? Let's see what we're actually working with. Uh, don't judge me, I know all my stuff is super jacked, but it's okay, it's okay. And the reason why I want to check this is because I want to see if there's firewalls and stuff all over the place or what we're, what we're working with, really, you know? Wow. It's a big network. Sheesh. Okay. And I do see some firewalls. But we need to get to 172.16.15. 15.6. which is right here. And where is 15.1? Okay, well, there are no firewalls in the middle. So I guess we can just, uh, yeah. Uh, let's exit out of that. And unfortunately, we are going to have to kind of start over. But not a huge deal. Not a huge deal. I just I wanted to make sure before I spend a bunch of time hammering away at it if it's behind a firewall and it doesn't matter, you know. So add var zero. Okay. So now let's try this again. And we're going to do an exploit scan zero. to make sure 
worried about leak in publics, but it doesn't really matter that much, to be honest with you. Okay, so we'll use seven, get back in here, corrupt logs. Um, and then we'll just, we'll go for the bounce. We'll go for the bounce. Uh, 182, 160.1.1, 0.172.16. .1. 15.6. Oh, you wanna know why? Because I don't have my libraries. Um, but I already have it downloaded, so I don't need to do the whole process. I just need to do the git lib, right? Uh, use lib three. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, 182, 168.1.1, 0, 172.16, 16.15.6. Let's see what we get. Two guest computers. Well, we know from the previous one that guest computers are really all we need. So let's try it. Let's use 23. Okay. Uh, grab mail, please. All right. So the foreshadowing was obviously there. We're probably going to need to go back and get another uh, user so we can send a funny games. Not a big deal. And we have his. So we're going to go back. Um, I just assume that there is another computer on 1.2 because DHCP, right? I don't see anything for 1.2. I wonder if Oh. Well that wasn't good. <sighs> Whatever. If you uh if you want to hack that IP that's fine. I don't really care to be honest with you. Um Root I sure all. Oh, is SSH not open? Oh, oops. Because basically I just need another computer. Can I do this? Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to do this one more time. Kind of a pain, but whatever. Can I just do, can I do that now? Yeah. Oh, and three, okay. So stupid, okay. Let's do this. One more time, one more time. Actually, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's 
losing my mind. It's a little loud. Let me turn that down just a little bit. Okay. Gotta add the library again. So basically I'm just gonna do a bounce exploit to some of these local libraries. See if we can't get something going. Okay. Oof. Ugh. That sucks. I'm not waiting for that. It's going to be quicker to do it all over. Wow, what a pain in the ass. These are some of the reasons why I'm trying to, um, to get better at um, Shell, but I don't. Th there's some shortcomings to it that I just think are. Eh, it, it, makes me, it makes me not want to use it that much. Okay, <laughs> I think we're finally getting there. So let's check targets again. We'll use seven. Okay. Uh, use the three. I'm going to exploit scan on I2168 1.1. Zero on I2168 1.2. There, much faster. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use 24 grab mail. Come on, give it to me. There we go. this bad boy okay so now we know the computer that we need to get to is that mana hum guy Oh, have you already bought it? Stuff. Okay, so let's compose a new message. Um, delete a file that could incriminate him. So that means that we will be just deleting the whole computer. Okay. So let's grab this. I think that's all we need. Okay, cool. Wait, as guess? Oh, you know what? I probably need to exit out and restart it. If I had to guess. There we go. Okay, 
so we're in shell I'm going to jump guests sudo root I sure all guest slash gen file so just for um, just for learning purposes let's see if we can find the file that we need yeah there it is so it's slash home uh, slash media underscore encrypted dot bin okay let's make sure this is correct um what's the uh Mm -mm. Can I just do an RM? Okay, so that works too. Um, so we were able to do it that way. But the other way that I just like to do it is just, just wipe it. Yeah, if you need to delete a log, just find the computer and wipe it entirely. That's that's usually my my advice. Okay. And uh, we're gonna go back. This is. Right, because this is on our shell. So let's go here. We're going to exit. Okay. Yeah, so that should be it. Um, let's reply. Is it done? Customer satisfied. Okay, cool. So that was two quick uh, level two missions. Um, next time, like I said, I'll probably do a macros video. And then we'll move on to some level three stuff. My issue with level three is I'm still running into some Roblox. There's still some stuff that I don't really know how to do. So anyways, um, you know, like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff or whatever. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll make some more soon. Peace.